Hey guys, welcome back to yet another sneaker video. It's your boy Miyagi Got Kicked, and thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you guys so much. If you're brand new to my channel, consider hitting that subscribe button and leaving likes and leaving comments on all of my other videos that I have uploaded on my YouTube channel. I also upload a lot of YouTube shorts to my channel as well, so go leave likes and go leave comment on those as well. And when I'm not surrounded by all of these sneaker boxes that you see behind me, you can shoot me a follow outside of this app, Miyagi Got Kicks. All of my videos will be posted on all social media platforms that I have available to me. So just just shoot me a follow just to stay up to date with me on all of the YouTube content that I got coming out real soon for you guys. And today we're going to be actually doing a very dope classic Air Jordan 3, but with a little twist. This is actually a collab and collab with our mom and yeah man and this shoe right here is actually pretty dope it's pretty amazing our mom and yeah is finally back with their second collab with the air jordan 3 man i'm just super excited to show you guys this sneaker but before we get into the sneakers i gotta show you guys the packaging because our mom and yeah did switch it up this year so for the box you have this nice beautiful box and the boxing experience for the sneaker is actually pretty dope so the way you actually get into seeing the sneaker is actually you gotta flip these two panels towards the side and then you uplift this little pamphlet and this is inside of the box so what you have inside is like a nice chrome silver the amama yay uh logo all around inside of the box everywhere on the lid inside everywhere and then you also get this cool like cloth as well with the sneakers so that's pretty dope so they're doing this right here and for the pricing of the shoe the experience of unboxing the shoe is pretty pretty dope the retail price of the shoe was 225 bucks and i actually hit retail on this sneaker so it's actually worth the price man because this box is like i said it's pretty amazing you got the jump man logo right there with the uh, converse logo and also the nike logo as well we're going to get into a deeper story on why the converse logo is actually on this box and the size tags reads uh women's air jordan 3 this is actually a woman's sneaker forgot to mention that so this is the women's air jordan 3 retro uh, og sp sp standing for special project uh, colorway is black black flat pewter and that's it woman's size 10 which is equivalent to a man size eight and a half so i did get my true size in this air jordan three and i do definitely love this box man got the i'm mama yeah a logo with the 10 the you know this niggas i see representing the 10 anniversary of i'm mama yeah and like i said man definitely love this box man shout out to i'm mama yeah once again and now let's get into the overall sneaker so here it is right here this is the i'm mama yeah uh, while you were sleeping, this is actually called the while you were sleeping Air Jordan 3. I'm on my yeah, man, and this shoe is pretty sick, man, pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, man, definitely love this shoe a lot. And uh, yeah, overall materials and luxury feel, you know how I'm on my yeah, do with their sneakers, they're all about luxury feel and premium materials. So this Air Jordan 3 did not disappoint. And uh, yeah, man, definitely love it a lot, man. So now let's get into an overall detailing on what you have on this Air Jordan 3 sneaker. So for the upper of the shoe, you got that black tumble nice leather for the upper of the shoe, which is pretty nice. And then you also have suede on the mud guard right here. They removed the elephant print, you know, off this Air Jordan 3 and gave us some nice suede right here. And then you also have it on the heel. Going into the midsole of the shoe, you have a nice coconut milk tan like mid sole for the shoe and then right here behind the heel right here you also have like a flat matte black finish right here by the heel tab right here air unit is in white and then you also have the outsole you got that nice burgundy uh, colorway right here for the toe right here even though the shoe has burgundy i don't know why the box doesn't mention it but the shoe does have burgundy you have it right here and then you also have it for the nike logo and then you also have like gray hints of gray for the outsole and then once again that tan color right here and then going to the upper of the shoe you have that pewter colorway that the box actually describes right on the upper of the shoe and then right out the top of the tongue you got the ama meyer a logo right there and then you also have like a nice lightly waxed black laces but the shoes did come with two extra laces so if you did want to switch up you have a nice beautiful nice cream lace which is pretty dope. I think I'm gonna go with this uh, shoelace right here, the cream lace, which is pretty dope right there. And then once again, you have another pair of laces and that's once again, the pewters, the pewter lace, like the lavender purple uh, lace right there. 
and it's pretty amazing. So you do have two sets of laces, like I said, and then continuing back on the shoe, the sock liner of the shoe is once again, back in that quilted design that Amama Yeah loves to put on the threes right there, quilted Nike design and the pewter colorway that lavender purple. And then behind the tongue, you have a burgundy tongue. It's kind of like a, a burgundy. And then all behind the tongue, it's like little small Amama Yeah A logos like stitched on in the back you probably can't see it because it's so small but there is there that's the fine details right there and then once again on the heel you got that classic nike air can't go wrong with that on both shoes nike air and then the nike air on the back is not white it's kind of like an off-white eggshell type of white so heel of the shoe is pretty amazing and then behind the tongue Behind the pull tab, it says, do something about it, you know? So, you know, I'm on the is continuing on with these little hidden messages. They also did this with the last Air Jordan 3s as well. So right behind the tongue, uh, Nike Air tongue tag on the, uh, not tongue tag, but like the heel tab, it says, do something about it. And I think the other shoes, that's the same thing. Yeah, it says the same thing, do something about it. So both shoes just say the same thing. And then you also have these nice, beautiful hang tags. Finally, you know, our mama here gave us, I believe with this Air Jordan 3, they gave us like the same hang tag, but it's different. You know, the last pair that they did back in 2020, they came with a hang tag, but I think the Air Jordan 4s and the 2s were different. Like the hang tags was like pretty long. And like, I didn't like, kind of like that with the Air Jordan 4s and the 2s because, you know, it'd be hitting the ground a lot. So the fact that, you know, they stuck with the classic for this shoe with the Nike Air, you know, hang tag is pretty dope. It's pretty amazing. Definitely like that a lot. Hang tag on the shoe. And once again, in that pewter, Nike Air. And then you also have the brown hang tag that the Amama Air likes to put on as well. And so you have like Amama Air on the front and then on the back. You got the Amamir A with the 10 for this hang tag. So that's that. And then the inner sole, what you have for the inner sole is nice, beautiful inner sole. You got Amamir A logo all around the inner sole, which is pretty amazing. And then inside of the shoe, wow, you have a little hidden message as well. You have while you were sleeping. Wow, that's pretty dope. If I would have never took out the inner sole, I would have never thought that was there. So. You have the while you were sleeping, like hidden message, like right behind the inner sole inside of the shoe. Have it right there while you were sleeping. That's pretty amazing. If I could get the camera to focus on that, it might be hard to see, but it is in there while you were sleeping, like in script. Definitely like that a lot. And the, yeah, man, the hidden messages and the details on the shoe is like pretty amazing, man. Like I said, I'm on yeah, never disappoints when it comes to like doing their collabs with Jordan Brand. And uh, like I said, this shoe did not disappoint. I do enjoy this colorway. So yeah, that is the overall detailing view of the I'm on yeah, Air Jordan 3 while you were sleeping, man. And shout out to I'm on yeah, and James Wittner, who's the sole owner of I'm on yeah. And the overall backstory to the shoe is pretty amazing. I'm on yeah, loves to give us a great story to tell when it comes to their Jordan Brand collabs and nike collapse as well and the overall while you were sleeping story is pretty amazing i actually saw like a little mini video on our moms this year instagram and it broke down the whole story on how this shoe on how this whole story came about so the overall while you were sleeping uh thing on how it came about is basically while we were sleeping these designers was up 24 7 designing sneakers because it's not just our mom and year that was a part of you know the story uh the mini video that i saw on instagram uh, i saw jay tips in there as well so it's basically giving homage to all of the designers who actually did collapse this year and like i mentioned james tips earlier you know james tips did a whole bunch of sockenies this year which i actually struck out on and james tips is an amazing designer so you know i'm on my year is giving him praise like all of these designer praises so you can actually check out that video in i'm on my year instagram and uh, this shoe is also part of a whole i'm on my year collection as well so i'm on my year is giving us like seven shoes that's coming out like little by little during during this year so the air jordan 
three was actually the first shoe to actually release from that collection. And then after the three, it was the Air Jordan 39, I believe. And then the Air Jordan fours, which I hit on, on you know, I'm on the GS website and actually having that shoe coming in. So stay tuned. I'm definitely doing a video on that shoe. And then you have an Air Force One, an Air Max 95, and then you also have the Converse weapon. So that's how you got the Converse logo on the box. So it's a whole bunch of shoes releasing from I'm on the air. And uh, like I said, I got my hands on the fours and the threes, and I want to get my hands on Air Force One. So like I said, it's a whole collection, which is pretty dope. I'm on the air is celebrating 10 years of, you know, of excellency, of luxury and all that good stuff. So shout out to I'm on the air and James Whitner. Yeah, that is the overall video on the I'm on the air Air Jordan 3, man. If I have to rank this shoe from one to 10 chopsticks, to me, I'm going to give this shoe a solid eight chopsticks. I do enjoy this colorway and the materials on this shoe. It's just pretty amazing. You know how I'm on the air do with the premium and the luxury feel to their sneakers. And this is actually the second Air Jordan 3 that they actually did. The first pair was another pair that was pretty amazing from them. An all white pair was, was pretty sick. And both shoes to me are simply amazing. So shout out to Ama Meyer and James Whitner one more time, man. And then, yeah, that's the overall video. Leave your overall thoughts though in the bottom section below on this Air Jordan 3. Do you like this shoe? Do you not like this shoe? What is your favorite shoe out of the whole entire collection and what you are anticipating from the collection? You know, like I said, I would love to hear your thoughts. And then, yeah, man, thank you for stopping by and talking sneakers with me. And once again, if you're brand new to my channel, consider hitting that subscribe button and leaving likes and leaving comments. All of my other videos that I have uploaded on my channel. I have more sneakers on the way, so just stay tuned for all of the sneaker reviews that I got coming out. And again, man, I appreciate you guys, and I'll check you guys on the next sneaker video. Peace.